Hey, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to use two really interesting tools in the effects menu. One is called the Fill Opacity tool, which should not be confused with the Layer Opacity tool, and the other one is called the Fill Knockout Shadow tool. So let's get started. So I pulled in two stock photos from the stock photo section here. And one is just very simple. I just asked for a background and this came up. And I also pulled in this one, which is a, a picture of a guy I'm going to just pull out here. So I wanted to find a silhouette of a man. And this one came out really big. I didn't want my file to be too large. So really, I, right now it's at about an 800 or 850 by 850 square. So we're going to take this man, and what I normally do, and everyone has seen this in my tutorials, I usually duplicate my originals, which is Control or Command J, and then I move this up, and I take these originals, and I group them, and I call them original in case I make a mistake, and I hide them. So I just shrunk this guy down approximately to where I think I need him, and I am going to now go to my brush selection tool, and he should be pretty easy to select because he's in a very light background. So let me just go down the line here. And I don't want that background. Let me get closer here. I don't want that little one there. So I'm going to hold Option and click in there. And then back to normal here. And go right down his leg. And because I'm creating a silhouette, the uh, selection does not have to be perfect at all. Because I'm not going to use the actual details of him. So let's just do that and grab that. And I think that looks pretty, oops, I missed the arm. We need his arm and his hand here. Let's do that. And anything else? A little bit of his face missing. And I think that's going to do pretty well. Now that I've done that, I'm going to actually hit refine. And everything looks good. Maybe I can get a little bit more around the hairs just to just to go like that to make sure it knows what it's doing. It's it's getting rid of any excess and it's showing more of the hair. I don't really care about the feet as much. And I think this does look pretty good. I'm just going to make a selection and say apply. So now that I have this selection, I am going to go to a new layer and fill that selection with white. So I have white selected here. I'm just going to take my fill tool and there you go. So now I have a selection of white. Just like that. So I can hide this right now. And if some of that selection didn't come through, I can paint over it. But it, this looks pretty good. So let's leave it at that. So I am going to take this man and now duplicate him. Control or Command J. And arrange and flip horizontally. So now I have two men and it looks kind of like they're shaking hands. So I'm going to do, remember I showed you, I said I was going to show you some things with special effects. Now I'm going to show you that, um, but I don't like this pipe in the middle. So let me just back up. This was a background I selected. It has all kinds of craziness and stuff. But I want to just find a spot that I think might be nice. And I'm kind of looking at something maybe like that. We'll see how that works out. And let's go back to, to the beginning here, right to the front. So let's take this first one. So this first one, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to Effects. And on these effects, I'm going to give it an outer shadow. And on the outer shadow, I think I want it to point up that way. Let me see how, let me just try and get a little bit of a shadow showing. I think something like that, maybe a little bit less like that. And intensity is, I keep intensity zero. And radius, maybe more on the radius. Let's go maybe four pixels and maybe the offset slightly less. 
Now, remember what I talked about fill and knockout shadow and fill opacity. Well, let's get rid of the fill opacity for the most part. Let's go like this. You see how that's showing just like that? It's just giving you that little slight silhouette. But if I take this off, what it's doing is it's not cutting out. It's showing the shadow that's completely behind the actual silhouette. So I kind of think I'm going to keep it that way and maybe bring the radius down on this shadow. So remember, that knocks it out. And so it takes away everything that was in the front and just shows the edges. And that keeps it in. So that's kind of about what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, we can play around a little, maybe the offset a little less, I don't know. And we'll keep it that way. So now let's close that one up. And let's go to this one. And this one we're going to go to Effects. And we're going to do a little bit differently. We're going to give it an outer shadow again. I want to keep it on the same angle. I believe I'm going to do that. I'll try that first. And let's go, let's see, the radius maybe a little bit up and the offset. Just like I did before, intensity. Um, in fact, I think I'll do intensity zero. And let's see. Let's go like that. Maybe the radius, bring it up like something in that area. And this time what I'll do is I will knock out the shadow and I'm going to take the fill and instead of bringing it down to zero, I'm going to bring it down to maybe, maybe like 11%. And I made a mistake. I think I should knock it out. And so now what's happening, it's knocked out, but the fill, I'm bringing some of that fill back in. You see how I'm bringing that in? So there's still a little bit of interest there. Whereas if I am go to this one, what I did was I did not knock it out. If I knocked it out, that's what would happen. So that's the difference. Knocking out, so I'm going back to this to show you. This one knocks out the shadow. But I want to add some fill back because I don't want it to be zero. I don't want it just be zero like that. I'm just going to add back just a slight amount of white. And then I'm going to close that. And maybe I'll make them kind of shake hands. It looks like they're shaking hands. Okay. And now I'm just going to put some lettering. Um, I'll pick a font. I'm just going to do maybe make peace with yourself. And here's a little trick. Now, in this case, it really doesn't matter. You could do different kinds of things. I'm going to get rid of that capital on the W. You can do a drop shadow. This is another effect. Let's say an outer shadow again, and this time offset all the way, and maybe right to the bottom, just like that. So now, if you get rid of the fill, you're only getting rid of the fill on top. In fact, if you try to move this, you have to move it from there. But now you're only showing shadow. So what you can do now, you can give it different radiuses. You can give it different opacities. And so it kind of gives a nice effect. You can go with the intensity of the shadow. And the radius could be a little more blurry, just like a real shadow in itself. So. I think this was like a just very simple beginner's tutorial, but it shows you the difference. This is knocking out the shadow, but leaving a tiny bit of fill. And this one is not knocking it out, meaning the shadow is not only on the edges, but everything that was behind it had shadow and getting rid of the whole fill. One more thing we can do, which is interesting. One thing great, remember now, this is just a shadow and this is only a partial fill. If I want to, let me just duplicate that background. I can go to uh, Adjustments, HSL, and I can change that background to any color I want. So say I want it to be in the blues, I can go less saturation. I can go really just nice um, luminosity shifts, and it, it gives it a whole different look. Or if I wanted to go greens or blues or anything like that. When you knock out the shadow and when you only use the shadow, you're still seeing through. So those are very important things. Now, the reason this is lighter is when I remember when I did the effects there, I didn't knock, uh, lose the fill opacity. 
I kept it a little bit. If I went like that, then there'd be no fill. But since it was white before, I wanted to add just a touch of white there, and I thought it helped to look, make it look good. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, please click like, subscribe, and please share. Let people know about my channel and let them know about this tutorial. And have a great day. Bye.